Hey everyone, we're making a series of videos available to you to learn Amazon EC2 with 10 labs and 20 facts and refreshers for your exam. The full course is available on YouTube. It's also available on Udemy. You can check the links in the description below to view the Udemy link. This course is produced by Cloud Yeti. We make simplified cloud computing, AWS, and DevOps videos. You can contact us by emailing us, checking out our GitHub, visiting our website, or following us on LinkedIn. I'll be the presenter for this course. My name is Saurav Sharma. I am seven times AWS certified. You can support us by helping us reach 5,000 subscribers. We're currently around 3,300 and reaching 5,000 is very important to us. So if you want to support us, start by subscribing to us. And you can also watch our other content, uh, buy our courses on Udemy, etc. We're adding a lot more content, so we're open to feedback, suggestions, and requests from you guys because we're making these videos for you guys. All right, now let's get started. Welcome back. In the last lab, we launched a Linux EC2 instance. And in this lab, lab two, we'll be creating and uh, logging into a Windows EC2 instance. So let's go to our labs folder on the course repo and click on lab two. Once you are in this page, you can look at the steps. And once again, the objective of this lab is to create a Windows EC2 instance and log into the instance with RDP or remote desktop protocol. So I'm going to log into the EC2 console. And if you have uh, an instance open from our last lab, then I suggest, you know, we all uh, select this and click on actions, instance state and terminate which means release forever. I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna click on this and click on terminate. So this way we do some cleanup and then we can move on to launching new instances. All right, so once uh, I terminate this instance, it's gonna take a while for this to go away. So I'm gonna click on launch instance for our uh, second lab. And this time I'm gonna type Windows in this box right here. Now this will give me a few options to choose from, but I wanna select the Windows 2016 base. Now this is not so important, but uh, to be consistent with me, you can select this one, but you can also go ahead and try some other options if you want. But the name of the AMI that I wanna choose for Windows EC2 instance is this. I'm gonna click on select. And once again, I'm gonna select the T2 Micro. Click on next. We'll leave everything as it is. We talked about these things um, in the last lab. I'm gonna click on next, add storage. Now, if you notice here, compared to last lab, the minimum size of the EBS volume that you can have, the volume that you can choose is 30 uh, gigabytes. And this is because Windows is a bit larger than Linux. I wanna say next and uh, let's add a tag, say, this is a Windows instance and click on next configure security group. Now this time you won't see SSH like last time because SSH only is for Linux instances. For Windows instances by default, there will be a rules for RDP on port 3389 coming from anywhere on the internet. And that's fine for now. I'm gonna rename this Windows SG for Windows Security Group and review and launch. You can once again review, you know, all the options that you selected, uh, all the features that you chose. And after you verify, click on launch. And I'm gonna select the same key pair that I uh, used earlier for lab number one, the first instance for me. In your case, it might be different. Let's select one of the key pairs and click on launch instances. At this point, you should wait about three to four minutes for this instance to be ready to RDP. In the meantime, I'm gonna click on the instance name, which will take me to the EC2 uh, instances dashboard. 
To get here, you can also go to the EC2 dashboard and uh, on the left navigation pane, click on instances and you'll be given a list of your instances. Right now we only have one. So I'm gonna select this instance and click on connect. Now you see this box is different than what a Linux box uh, has when you click on connect, right? Uh, for Windows, what you need to do is you need to get a password, right? You need to get a password. So get password. And you might see a box like this saying the password is not available because the EC2 is not configured. And it will tell you right here that you should wait about four minutes after launching the instance. Compare this to a Linux instance and Linux instances are sometimes ready within a minute of launching. But anyways, uh, let's wait for a couple of minutes and we'll try to generate the password one more time. So it's been a few minutes and I see the status checks two by two check mark, which means the instance has passed the uh, status checks and I'm gonna click on connect one more time and click on get password. Now this time I will be taken uh, to this window which asks me to choose a file that I can use to uh, decrypt the password. So this is the PEM file that we downloaded earlier, in my case, named firstinstance.pem. I'm gonna click on choose file. So I'm gonna choose the .pem file. After you choose the file, you know, uh, you can click on decrypt password and then you will be given a password. You can click on this button to copy this uh, to your clipboard. Once you copy the password, uh, you want to click on download remote desktop file. Right? You click on download remote desktop file and then you'll be able to click on this downloaded file and a Windows remote desktop application should open up. Uh, if you're on Windows, this will be installed by default. If you're on Mac OS or Linux, if you don't have this, then you can download this by searching for Microsoft remote desktop uh, application. Um, I in had this installed and I have also installed another version of this. So, you know, depending on if you have this or not, you can go ahead and make sure this is downloaded you know, once you click on this downloaded remote desktop file, you'll be taken um, directly to a window like this and you'll be asked to verify that you want to continue. So I'm going to click on continue at this point. It's taking a while, but there it is. Please wait for the local session manager. And uh, the username is administrator. The password is the password that I copied earlier. Um, sometimes the password cannot be pasted um, so what you need to do is unfortunately type everything that you saw earlier in the window. So I'm going to do back and forth and paste in the password. So once I enter the password, I'm going to click enter. And looks like the password was accepted. Great, because I don't want to type that again. And there is my windows machine ready to use. This is my EC2 instance. And you can see there's some EC2 specific files um, like the guide and feedback. And you can you know play around with this. But this is the end of our lab number two where we just launched a Windows EC2 instance. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lab.